Wendy. I'm at the fort. There's some sort of planetarium here. It's incredible. The Mortons really dabbled in everything. Yeah, with one goal in mind. Jeremy Morton had it built. It has something to do with an Indian ritual. There's something here that looks like a control board. I'll try to get to it. Aline, I gotta admit, you're handling all of this incredibly well. the circle of stones. Abcanis Stellas. This is the place. I'm sure this is where I have to carry out the ritual. The only thing I'm missing is the direction. Let me try and help you. Go to the North Stella and call me back if you find something carved into it. Which Stella, did you say? The North Stella. Thanks. I'm at the North Stella, and there's something carved into the top. A single mark. Okay, that's exactly what I need. Could you be a bit clearer? I'd rather be sure for myself first. Go to the Southeast Stella and call me back.
Which Stella did you say? The Southeast Stella. Thanks. Which Stella did you say? The Southeast Stella. Thanks. Which Stella did you say? The Southeast Stella. Which Stella? Which Stella? The South East. Thanks. Which Stella? Which step? Thanks. Which step? Which Stella? Which step? Thanks. Aline, there are no marks on this Stella. Okay. West Stella. Are we going to go on much longer like this? Do you want to try out your incantation or not? That's what I'm here for. West Stella, three marks. Good. Let me explain. I think that each of the markings correspond to a number. I'm in front of this control board. My idea is, if I enter the numbers, what with this being a planetarium, it should logically give me a direction. Hey, I trust you. So? Go to the Southwest Stella. Okay. Southwest Stella, one mark. Now we're getting somewhere. East Stella? I'm at the East Stella. Two marks. I'm starting to feel this isn't funny anymore. Spoil sport, we're nearly there. North East Stella. Nothing on the North East Stella. Okay. And now back to the South East Stella. What? I hope you're not pulling my leg here. If you don't want my help anymore, Okay, hey, don't get all touchy now. Southeast Stella, nothing, obviously. Hang in there, Carnby. The Southwest Stella, and it's over. Southwest Stella, one mark. Okay, like I said, it's over. Carnby, you'll never believe me. But you know I believe every word you say. If I didn't get this wrong, that circle of stones of yours just gave us today's date. Uh-oh, that means... That tonight's the night the gate can be opened. Carnby, I don't feel so good. Now's not the time to give up. I still need a direction. Wait. I'm entering the date into the control board. It's incredible. Okay, the planets are lining up. Which way are they pointing? Well, towards the east, I believe. Yes, that's it. Towards the east. Thanks. Don't you think we're in over our heads on this one? I've got no idea. 
All I know is I want us to get out of here alive, and you've got my word. We're gonna do it. I'd really love to believe you. Gulai, Hyper, Harness. Oh, Gulai, Hyper, Harness, Corna. Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about ten inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me.
Jerking around. Let me try and get you out of here. Ugh, my legs. The radio is dead. Everything will be okay. Everything will be just fine. But the plane's sinking. I'm telling you, everything will be okay. I don't want to die. Hey, let go of me. Don't leave me here. Please, I beg you. I said let go of me. <sighs> go on. I'll never make it. Sure you will. I'm telling you, I'll never make it. Just promise me one thing. When you see Johnson, tell him something for me. Tell him his cover is blown. you. I won't hesitate to shoot. Aline? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. I almost shot you. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. Do you have the stone disc we talked about? And what will you give me in exchange? I see you're a real smooth talker, Carnby. Here, I found this. I have no idea what use it might be, but... That rings a bell. How are you getting on? I recovered the tablets, and I've got two statues. How about you? I'm still missing some things. You seem to have acquired a taste for our adventures. Get real. I just want to get out of here. And now? Now, I have to go back to the fort. Good luck. You too, Carnby.
nervous system made up of a dark and shiny mass about 15 inches long by 7 inches wide. Chaotic structure reacts directly to white light, contracting like a pupil. I'm taking all the samples needed to carry out a biochemical analysis. I already believe it possible to assert that the main elements composing it are zinc and beryllium. As for the others, I'm mainly interested in their central crystalline structure. It's that structure that I need to extract and inject. Who goes there? Alan, don't even think about it. I could have gotten rid of you a dozen times at least. But I'd rather you have a taste of darkness while you're still alive. When my friends are done with you, your body will still come in handy for me. <laughs> I just ran into Alan right in the middle of one of his macabre experiments. He was up to his elbows dissecting... <laughs> I don't want to know what. <sighs> Horrible. But where are you? In an underground laboratory. It looks as though Alan's experiments require quite a bit of material. And corpses. Corpses? Human corpses? I don't know. He hightailed it out of there and cut off the power supply. I'm stuck here in the dark. I found a floor plan. I think it's the layout of the lab. Wait, there's an exit just next to the operating table. Okay, on my way. No, no, 
Yeah, okay. The doorway's blocked with metal bars. Alan must have set off an automatic locking system. Wait. The plan includes the layout for all the lab's power cables. It must show where the locking mechanism is. Thanks, Aline. You're a lifesaver. Try not to make a habit out of it. Wait. I've got a problem. What? The locking mechanism is outside of the lab. Aline, we have to find a solution. Maybe if I turn all these devices back on... We could provoke an overload and free up the door. Okay, let's try it. Where do I begin? There are two tables with an experimental device on them. Follow the wall to the left of the door to find them. Okay. It's a real house of horrors in here. No, no, that's no good. Okay, I'm turning on a kind of electric arc, but nothing's happening. Wait. Keep going with the other devices. I hope at least this will be of some use. Keep on going after you get past the table, and you'll hit the corridor. Go through the passage, and head straight on down the corridor. The cell's corridor. Anyway, the light switch is at the very end of it. Alright, I don't really have much choice. Okay, I just lit a projector, but I didn't get any of the promised overload. Have some patience. I'd like to see you try it. The light switch is in the side room. Go back the other way and turn right at the intersection, then follow the corridor. <laughs>
Aline, you should see this. I don't even want to know what Alan... I just turned on some kind of laser beam. Okay, in theory, now's the time that something should happen. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna stay stuck here. That's it! It's working! Okay. Take the door to your left and cross the laboratory to reach the exit. Thanks a lot. On my way. fighting chance. You mean the Morton brothers? No, I'm talking about Lamb and Johnson. Fisk probably never even set foot on this damn island. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to get us out of here. It seems that if I keep going, I should be able to reach the cellars beneath the manor. When I was down there, I opened a trap that leads to the greenhouse. Okay, thanks. Lamb, is that you? Professor Morton, what a pleasure to hear from you. Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Yes, and I wish to thank you for them. Say your brother's work has made great progress. His notes are extremely clear. I had the feeling I was reading a medical course for first-year students. However... I remain convinced that you could have sent me the contents of the writing tablet's translation a while back. You wouldn't have been trying my patience by any chance, would you? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You've no idea what is going on here. If I believe what is in your twin's notes, it must be close to hell, right? I sent you two of my best agents. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. The army? The army? Don't get carried away now. 
You've managed perfectly well until now without my help. Right? You are a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Mr. Morton, I do not think you understand me quite well. Thanks to your brother and yourself, I have made great headway. For me, the great day is drawing near. As of now, you are of no more use to me. Lamb? Lamb! We have to. Quick! Alan is about to perform the ritual that opens the gate. I can feel it. But can't you do something to stop him? I am too old. I do not have... Hey, don't quit on us now. We still need you. What are we supposed to do? Recover the last statues and meet me in my people's sanctuary. That is where the gate is located. With some luck, we might get there before Alan does. Why did you keep on working for the Morton so long, without ever doing anything? Have you never said to yourself, the time has not yet come? Well, that is what I told myself for 50 years. But now I know that my time has come. What do you mean? If Miss Sedrak is here, it is because some men meant her to be. You, you are here because a god meant you to be. Oh yes, I know. You came to Shadow Island for your friend. But think this over. You rushed here without even asking yourself any questions. To come here seemed self-evident. Fisk was nothing but the trigger, despite the deep friendship you had for him. 
How do you know all this? I too came here, Mr. Carnby. And since then, my dreams are like books in which the future is written. But not my future. Yours. Elaine? I met Edenshaw. We've got to find Alan. I know. Is that all he said? I have this funny feeling he knew all along that I'd come to him. I know this will sound strange, but I feel as though I'm linked to what's happening here. Kind of like deja vu? No, it's deeper than that. Like shreds of some lost past. Me, it's my whole past that's in shreds. You? You've been speaking to Obed Morton. Not my father, but let's say I expected as much. Aline, you've lived your entire life not knowing who your father was. A few more months won't change anything. I swear, if we make it out of this alive, I'll handle your case. But let me say this, meetings like that are usually a big disappointment.
much time, we gotta hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. Yeah, I think I can. The gate is now before thee. The gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it, thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus, if the gate is opened, whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's gotta be Hecaton Kyrus, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up.
I'm begging you, Alan. You have no idea of the consequences of what you're about to do. Incho. For years now you've been watching me, expecting this moment, just so you could see if your powers of witchcraft were still alive. But it's too late. You should have come begging long ago. You and I know that today is the day, or the night, actually. You're shaking. Yet, you're like all the others, fascinated. I realize that only my father was able to fight the madness that courses through all of the Mortons, and that is what killed him. I am the one who killed him. And you want me to give up now? I've spent my entire life waiting for this moment. I never cared for your human world. My research has paid off. I have created a new being. A being with no conscience, no feelings, no pain. A being who will know neither doubt nor hope. Soon, my children shall rule the earth. And my brother, that coward, will be one of them. I know what this statue represents, and that is why I am taking it with me. You thought that by destroying my world, you'd fulfill your destiny? Don't expect me to let you have that happy end. Get out of my way! As for you, strangers, I know not what brought you here. But you too shall soon experience the taste of darkness and oblivion. Light has for too long ruled alone. It is time for darkness to spill out across the world. Bonnadza ternas guru helie zair hekato. I was expecting thee, warrior, for I knew thou would come tonight. Warrior, thou know not thy father nor mother, and thou were born on the very day my son passed away, wounded to death in his struggle against the world of darkness. I am Hecatokius, the god of the vivifying light, and I have chosen thee to lead the struggle on thy world. Now on, thy battle is my battle. Through thy dreams I will teach thee. Tonight is to be your first challenge. Fail, and thy world shall disappear. Win, and it will be nothing but a reprieve. So shall be thy entire life. Let the light be thy guide. Aline? Oh, am I happy to hear your voice. Aline, I, I had a strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. That means you're on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. 
Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Eden Shaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news.
And now, you die. Alan, no, don't! Aline? Carnby? Alan just tried to kill me. It wouldn't be the first time. Nor the last. I'm starting to believe in my guardian angel. Don't you think it's more like the gods of light? No doubt. No doubt at all. No, wait! I'd congratulate you for your courage, but I'm running late. 
and it's also way too late for you, like for the others. Nothing can stop me now. Look! Look what you did to your brother! Oh, Ben? But... Tell me what happened to Fisk, and I mean now. I don't know for sure. I believe Lamb terminated him. But what for? Carnby, there's something you must know. I work, or actually I used to work, for the government. I was ordered to infiltrate Christopher Lamb's organization. But my boss was taken off the case. Someone double-crossed us, and my cover was blown. Bullshit. Just tell me about Fisk. I believe Lamb got rid of your friend because he knew too much about Shadow Island and the Mortons. You probably know that at one time Fisk was part of Bureau 713. And you? You just let the bastard do it? I didn't know what was going on, but even if I had, I couldn't have done a thing. Do you have the tablets? Are you joking or are you just stupid? Don't tell me you didn't know Lamb has already retrieved the translation. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Just do your job and let me do mine. Over.
Roger. Roger. This is Johnson. What do you want now? I have to warn you that Lamb knows at least one more spot where... another contact point. Oh, great. He knows where the gates are and how to open them. But what's he after? I don't know, really. My mission was to find that out. I believe he wants to use the Morton's work for his own benefit. Come on, cut the crap. If you knew all that, why didn't you call me sooner? I thought my cover was solid, but Lamb had me under surveillance. And when I tried to contact my boss... Stop it, you're breaking my heart. Listen, Carnby, I know I owe you one. Both you and Aline. I got in touch with a reliable friend of mine who runs a helicopter company. We'll fly in and pick you up in an hour or two. Can you hold on until then? Oh yeah. Over.
me. Where are you? I'm in a very large room with gigantic, ornate columns. Then you're almost there. Hurry up!
because the sun will be rising soon. But, and you? I can now fulfill my destiny, thanks to you. I am most grateful. Now go. specializing in what scientists call plate tectonics. Could you tell us more about what happened? Shadow Island was situated precisely on the crest of a minor fault line. This fault line suddenly spread by a dozen or so meters and the island literally sank. Other Miss Wallace, you can send Fishburn his nice little reward. Listen to 